returning to my YouTube channel. My name is Ronald and Nipo, and for all my new subscribers, aloha and welcome. So, if you haven't found out already, this girl's been vlogging a little bit more. I don't know what it is with these vlog videos, but people want me chatting like a little parakeet. And, um, probably uh, talking a little bit more. So, uh, we shall see. Also, I'll be leaving, um, posting some information on my Instagram and Facebook site. So if you want to go ahead and ask me a question, your first option is to leave it in the description bar down at the bottom or go ahead and hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Okay, so that'll be your three options. Subscriber went ahead and asked, I want to cut my hair short. Any advice? The first thing I would do is, uh, you know, I think they do have these apps that nowadays with all this technology that you can go ahead and download and you know see yourself what you would look like like with short hair but what i would suggest is probably don't do what i did i mean i had hair down past my butt and then i brought it up to my waist and then i brought it right underneath my shoulder blade and then i brought it to like about here and it was just all one length but, you know, half of the time my hair was up like in a clip or a bun. So, I don't know why I even had long hair if it was, if it was like never down unless I went to a party. And then I walked into either Supercuts or Mastercuts, one of those places. And I was looking on Pinterest or whatever. And I was in the midst of going through um, a bad relationship and said, the only reason why I probably had the long hair was probably for him. And I just wanted something new. So, I went and found up picture that I wanted and picked one or two styles or whatever because I didn't know whether my head was symmetrical or whether it would match or not and walked in and said that's the one I want and I, I swear the girl was going to like freak out because I think she was new and we were going to be cutting off like you know 18 to 20 inches of hair and she didn't want me like crying and freaking out so what she went ahead and did was she gave me like a bobbed look which was like down to here and I wasn't really happy because I was, my intention was to really, you know, leave with the haircut that I wanted. And her intention was let it grow on me for like a couple of days. So if for some reason I, you know, changed my mind or something, then at least it could just grow out one length. Well, two days later, I went back in and I got this haircut. So we just, I, I just thought we were just doing it. She said, fine. And ever since then, I think I've been with this haircut since maybe 2002 yeah maybe 2000 and between 2002 and 2004 i don't know i i had a little um issue with uh one of my past husbands and everything who kind of i think i was keeping my long hair for reasons that was not mine and i just wanted to lop and chop and that's what i did so those are some of the questions. So my advice is probably seek advice and counsel with your local hairdresser if you want to go ahead and change your um, hair design. Also, go ahead and ask other people what are you know what are their thoughts on having a, a hairstyle. Or before you go in and actually chop your hair, go ahead and ask your stylist or your hairdresser, whoever you go ahead and go to, is bring the picture that you think you want and see whether it's asymmetrical to your face. Because everybody has a different face. Like I have a round oval face so some people have a heart-shaped face some people have a round face they have an oblong face everybody's face is different so a haircut that might look nice on me might not look nice on you so i suggest that before you start lopping and chopping and start regretting what you're doing you might want to go ahead and um yeah maybe go ahead and ask them and see what they have or ask other people that have short hair and ask them their experience or who did they go to to go ahead and um, cut their hair and what are some of the experiences good and bad experiences that they have so yeah that would be my advice um, and then of course maybe I can squeeze in another one um, the question that I got was uh, do you do Botox or lip injections and the answer is no and no now would I ever consider because that's another question that they have would would I ever uh, consider cosmetic surgery whether it's Botox or you know maybe like a little lip there or maybe a little lip here kind of thing or there well wouldn't be that bad maybe there I think 
I, I think if I had the money to, I think the first thing I would probably do is <clears throat> when it comes to uh, cosmetic surgery, I would probably maybe address the issues of already underneath my eyes with you know any crow's feet or whatever that I have and that's the reason why I'm in you know really staying out of the sun and trying not to squint a lot that's the reason why you see me when I'm vlogging out in the car I'm always with my glasses because when you squint you create more wrinkles and then um maybe um you know if I ever decided to would probably maybe do just you know, I don't know. What do you think? Like a, me? I th I think I would probably do Botox first, but probably spend like a couple of months on asking other people who have gone to certain doctors or whatever, and what are their experiences are, or you know, find. I think there's one or two YouTubers that I go ahead and follow that do Botox, and it's basically just in this general area here, and I think. Here because you get those you know you get those lines right here that kind of get ingrained kind of thing but I don't know I feel like that's like part of my characteristics I think now in my life the age that I am I'm happy with the way I look um I think I have more insecurities on the bottom half of my body because I'm more of a full figured kind of girl so God forbid, I mean, if there was a ration on food, I could probably go like without a week without eating and blah, 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 blah. You know, that's like another whole topic of discussion. But um, yeah, um, definitely I do not do Botox or lip injections because you can kind of tell. Because if I was doing Botox, you wouldn't have all those lines there and I wouldn't be able to be doing that or that or whatever. So yeah, no, no, no Botox, no lip injections here. Um, would I ever consider it? I think the answer would be yes, but with, I wouldn't do it without getting advice or references from other people who have done it before me. Okay, I wouldn't just go, hey, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. I come to find out I'm half paralyzed and, and you know, I'm gonna be like, you know, like, poisoned or whatever or just have some bad reaction to the Botox or lip injections or whatever but I would never do lip injections I have full lips I kind of like the shape of my lips and no yeah Botox maybe but lip injections no okay facelift I don't know probably ask me that question like in another like five years or so but definitely stay out of the sun make sure you're using your SPF in your makeup and your skincare and whenever you're out and about make sure you spf yourself and protect yourself from skin cancer and all that and i think that will keep it short and sweet that's not that bad as my other uh first or second vlog video uh jim went ahead and could not realize that this girl can actually talk for like an hour straight and we we're able to cut and clip each of those uh, videos and kind of piece and make two separate vlogs out of it so oh no this might be one vlog or two vlogs i don't know but um if you like these q a's go ahead and um look up on my instagram site i'll be posting uh questions and pictures of myself asking for questions or if not the easiest way i say is just go ahead and just ask me those questions down at the bottom the only three questions that i will not be answering will be in reference to sex or whatever politics and religion so i hope you had fun as i went ahead and rattled off like a little banshee uh, doing this little simple vlog <clears throat> impersonal imprompt q a chat with me sit down grab a cup of coffee and stuff um i'm still receiving um more feedback from you guys you folks seem to love these uh vlog sessions i'm still thinking of posting it probably on a saturday so you have more time to watch it but i do have about um 10 or 12 of my subscribers that want to see a vlog at least three times a week three times a week they want me to tie them along three times a week whenever i'm vlogging so i'm debating on having a vlog channel so again i will say that if we're able to get this video up to a hundred likes and a thumbs up, um, then I'll probably be considering on keeping my beauty channel separate from my vlog channel. 
so you never know what direction this girl might be taking. So I hope everyone is having a beautiful and wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I post all my new and upcoming videos. I'll post some, maybe a haul or I did a shopping haul or lipstick or, or shoes or outfit of the day there. I go ahead and post all my stuff on um, social media. Follow me there. Follow me on Instagram. But I hope everyone had fun as I went ahead and did more Q&As just for you guys on my channel. And um, to go out there, be bold, be beautiful. Don't forget to dress up. And all the way from Hilo, Hawaii, my name is Ronald and Naipo. Go out there and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.